welcome back to my channel so today I have a quick and easy recipe for you guys I'm making dinner for the family I'm making salmon with asparagus and yellow rice I'm trying to get it done under 30 minutes can we do it I don't know <laughs> you just gotta stick around and watch the entire video to find out don't forget to leave a like for me if you enjoy the video leave me a comment down below and if you're new hey subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos without further ado let's just jump right into the recipe <laughs> when it comes to getting dinner ready on time it's all about prepping for me I like to combine all my seasoning together I'm using mrs. dash seasoning the salt free one I'm using about two tablespoons also I'll be adding some ground black pepper and just like that you can use whatever seasoning you like honestly but this season combination is absolutely delicious with fish now I'm using half a teaspoon of the Old Bay seasoning and also I'm using about a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and I'm using a little bit more of that seasoning again. So that equals to two tablespoons. Now I'm using one teaspoon of paprika and salt to taste, okay? The paprika will give it a nice color and a little hint of flavor. All right, now I have my fish filet here, nice and clean. And also I am going to pat them dry, remove any moisture on the fish. Now we're going to add a little bit of olive oil on there so the seasoning can stick onto the fish. And now all you have to do is just sprinkle your seasoning all over the fish. And of course, don't forget the back of the salmon as well Once you're done adding all your seasoning onto the fish, make sure you rub it in, okay? Do not just leave it on there. Rub it in with your hands just like that. Make some love to the fish, okay? Just cook it with all the love you have in your heart so it can come out tasting delicious. Now we're going to set it aside. I am moving on to asparagus. Lately, I've been eating lots and lots of asparagus. Don't ask me why, but we're going to clean it nice and clean. Then we're going to cut the end part of it just like that. And then we're going to cook it, all right? As you guys can see, I have the fish there. I have the asparagus nice and clean. And also I have my rice. I'm using jasmine rice, a cube of Maggi, which is like a chicken bouillon cube with turmeric to make the rice yellow, all right? Now in a saucepan, I am going to cook my rice, yes. We're going to add a little bit of oil, then we're going to add a little bit of green onion in there we're going to fry it until it's nice and golden brown then we can add the water in there now you can cook your rice however you want just use the turmeric to give it 
the color to make it yellow um this is the haitian way to cook it you can cook it like i said any way you like to cook it i'm using two cups of jasmine rice and for the water i'm using four cups of water okay and guys for my throat i've seen a lot of comments saying oh you your throat dry your you, you crack this and that i am pregnant i'm out of breath <laughs> and it's hard okay so bear with me okay just bear with me thank you i am aware of my voice and for the seasoning as you guys can see i added the maggie which is very similar to chicken bouillon or you can use creole seasoning whatever flavor seasoning you like to use on your rice then some pepper and salt for more flavoring in the turmeric let that come to a boil moving on to my fish while the the rice the water for the rice is getting ready to boil i'm using two tablespoons of unsalted butter once that is nice and melted we're going to add in the fish all right as you guys can see all the seasoning is nice and melted onto my fish just like i wanted it now we're going to place it on here by the way i am cooking my fish on medium high heat okay you want a nice sear on the fish so it can be nice and golden brown ish okay so we're going to cook them for about five minutes per side now the rice water is finally boiling we're going to wash our rice okay wash it and then we're going to add it in there make sure you wash the rice and do not add any more water in there while you adding the rice in okay because the flavor on there will be definitely a little different <laughs> if you add some rice water in there Now for the fish, we're going to flip it over. Yes, I am multitasking as you guys can see, because I'm trying to get everything done. When I tell you this was done under around 30 minutes. Yes, it was because <laughs> my, my rice took me about 15 minutes and you can see the rice is cooking on the other side. Now, once the fish is nice and done, we're going to remove it, place it in the oven for about five minutes just to be on the safe side, okay? Because I'm pregnant, guys. I cannot get, <laughs> get sick <laughs> eating this fish, honey. Okay, just place it in there. And now the rice is nice and dry. We're going to cover it for about 10 minutes. It should be ready. Now we're going to move on to the asparagus. For my asparagus, I am using a little bit of olive oil with a little bit of butter, okay? Unsalted butter. Then we're going to add our asparagus in there just like that. Then we're going to cook it. Now for the seasoning, I like, I like my asparagus to be nicely seasoned so i am using ground black pepper i'm using complete seasoning there you go and just sprinkle that all over and also i'm using a little bit of salt i don't think i show you guys that part but you need some salt <laughs> and as well as some dry pepper flakes for some spiciness now I'm using a little bit of soy sauce in there, just like that, and just toss it around until you cook your asparagus through. Now I like the asparagus to be overcooked. I don't know if I'm the only one. If you like your asparagus overcooked, let me know down below. But I like to, I like it to be soggy and literally falling. <laughs> literally super flimsy so we're going to cook it until it's nice and soft and that is dinner all right guys this is the food we have the asparagus with the fish the salmon 
in the yellow rice i'm ready to dive in oh yes that looks super juicy i don't know if you guys can see the juice i'm pretty sure underneath we have some juice as well and basically that is the dinner under 30 minutes thank you for watching guys hopefully you enjoy the recipe do not forget to give the video a thumbs up for me help your sister out give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend comment down below subscribe if you new, and i will see you guys on the next one bye